so the kind of life that you'd have in Zambia or Botswana or Libya um, or, or many countries that end with ear. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it seems like um, many countries whose names end in ear yeah. or Congo or Lesotho or um, Bongo Bongo. <laughs> <laughs> it's beneath me to um be derogatory about the names of some of these countries, but um, there it is. I think I think that it is incredible the life we have here in England compared with the life that we could have in these places. Um, it's hard to know where to begin really, but um, the education system, the health system, the legal system that literally, and I'm not even joking, literally millions of men have sacrificed their lives to defend. We could have been taken over by Germany during the Second World War. And it's very difficult to imagine the kind of life that we would have then, we would have had if that had happened. It's so incredible to wonder where we'd be if the Second World War hadn't happened and many and many of men have sacrificed their lives for. So we've got here on the bodies of mostly dead men And it's just stunning to appreciate the sacrifice and the pain and the misery that's brought us here. It, it, it defies belief and it's amazing that it actually happened. And for all the difficulty in life that we have now, and all the uh, oppression and, and the, the, the difficulties and the, the enslavement of a sort and the constant struggle to survive for all of that, we're incredibly blessed and incredibly lucky to live the way we do and to have the opportunities that we have. It is so stunning that we've managed to be born in an age where um, the awfulness of life has been reduced and we should be very grateful for it and appreciate it more than we do, I think. There's too much to complain about and too little to appreciate in our minds. And um, I think we could be a lot happier if we could sometimes stop for a minute and appreciate what we have and what many have sacrificed their lives to achieve and it's mostly men it's a big issue for me the treatment of men and women in society and the appreciation of men and women in society and um, I, 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 I strive to point out where men have sacrificed 
um, more in a way, and particularly their lives, in order to create a situation. It must also be, should be said that men have, in the main, caused these problems. So, men cause problems and men solve problems, or at least address problems. But um, I I think we're far more able to blame men for problems and far less inclined to praise men for solutions. And and that's very unfair. And um, I always try to achieve a better balance. But um, I do harp on about it. But um, I am inclined to, to harp on. So there we are.